Okay, yeah, I'm uh, screwing around with this MySQL workbench, and um, the database I'm using is actually on the i3, so I had to log into it using SSH, and um, it's actually surprisingly easy. Um, you know, these are some of the SQL commands I'm using, and right, so right now in the middle of I uh, created uh, this database, my employees, and I'm using. To use the database, and then I, you know, I showed the database earlier, which I can actually execute these commands one at a time and show you what they do. <coughs> and um, you know, so that's the database or the databases that I have on here. Some of these are example da databases that I installed on the other Linux box. Um, anyway, then I, you know, created this table. Um, which I can show you the table um, and I can hit this describe so describe you know actually shows you know the different columns you don't have to capitalize this but you know it's pretty standard practice to do that with SQL but um, you don't have to capitalize it but it does make it stand out and it does make you aware that hey this is a command versus this is the data you're working with so um, anyway I altered the table you know which I added um, you know this column here and then I ran this query on it um, you know there's nothing in it right now but it shows you the, the fields um, anyway I was about to add you know, so going for, for, you know, for this Java point um, tutorial you can see, and I'm just going to copy and paste this instead of type it, but um, this is actually supposed to alter the table um, by adding some columns to it. Um, you can see how they wrote that down. Every line's got to be terminated with semicolon. Just hit control enter to execute the query. So, and then I can go execute this query again, control enter, so, you know, it shows you all the columns. There's no data in that database yet. 